Hey everybody, Richard Knives here, favorite knife tuber, episode number 141. Today I'm going to show you all of my modern folders, uh, one after the other until we get through them all. And normally, I think if you're looking at my channel and you kind of think of Richter Knives, you're kind of probably thinking of something like this to where I'm using traditionals all the time. I'm a big traditional junkie, but that's not my whole knife story. I love moderns. I pretty much love all knives. Well, not every single one of the knives, but you know, I'm not a knife hater. I love um, moderns too. Uh, so we're gonna look through every one of them. I'm not only just carrying these uh, slip joints, but most of the time I'm carrying a slip joint in my right pocket, down inside my pocket, and then a modern folder clipped to my right pocket. So I'm usually carrying two knives a day, sometimes three, depending on how I feel. Let's get into it. First knife. I haven't cleaned any of these. You can tell she's got some tape and dirt and gooky stuff all over. This one is a Native 5 uh, that Erica's EDC gifted to me. And this one is LC200N steel. It's a stainless steel. And it's pretty freaking sweet. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is the salt um, version of this. And it's lightweight. Love the yellow. Kind of reminds me of a corn cob. So I'll call it McCone knife. Has very good action too. Check that out. Drop shutty. It's fidgety. I know most backlogs are not fidgety, but this one is. Let's see if I could uh, spotty flip. Well, I don't know if I can spotty flip it. Let's try it again. Yeah, you just gotta get serious with it. I dig this knife and this still is great. It is really great. I don't know why they don't make a whole lot more in that steel LC 200 in. It's pretty much a beast. I love the ergos on this knife. Everybody knows about the ergos on this knife. And it's just exactly what you want a knife to be as far as ergos go. I normally don't like when a knife tells me where to put my fingers. This one kind of does. Now I can come back here. I can go up here. But everywhere I go, it's comfortable. It's got enough, it's thin, but at the same time it has plenty of, you know, handle for your hand. Um, the classic Spyderco hole and that leaf looking blade. Pretty sweet. It's not a deep pocket carry. Kind of rides up to there, but it doesn't bother me. And honestly, I don't know why they put that lanyard hole there. I'm one of those people like, if if it's a weird place to put a lanyard hole, just don't even put it. But it doesn't hurt the function of it. Love the knife. Thank you, Erica. She just straight to get gave this to me one day. And I was like, what? So, anyways, great knife. Here's knife number one. Next, like I said, no particular order. This one here is my K390 Delica in the Warncliff. You can see her up there. She's got a little bit of teeners. I have cleaned it off a couple of times. Uh, it's got a little bit of junk there. That might be rust. I have no idea. But this one does teen her up. This is the Seki City Japan uh, K390. And it's ridiculous. As you can see, it still has a factory edge on it. See that? All I've done is strop this thing. And this thing is insane. I don't know if you've seen that. I barely got any hair on my arms anymore. From sharpening that's what sharpeners do this one has great action as well and this is probably maybe my most uh favorite to carry until i put this clip on which i love the look of the clip i believe this is the mxg but it um it lands right there on this knurling or whatever you call that and it rips your jeans up so i gotta 
I've just been lazy and hadn't put the uh, stock clip back on, so I haven't carried it as much. But I love carrying this. Uh, my brother seen that I had this one, and he fell in love with it as well. And he went, and I think he might have bought the last one on the dumb internet. I ain't kidding. We only found one, and he bought it our own up, and he used the craziness out of it. Great knife, man. Great. I love the Warncliffe blade. I'm a Warncliffe freak. Great knife. This is probably my most recommended spider coat. Easily. Love it. May have to get the uh, the other Delica to just to, you know, I don't know. Just to have it. This one right here, she's an auto, baby. Look at here. America. This one right here, you're going to have to hang the heck on to. This is a McNeese 3.5 auto and look at the blue she's pretty got the stonewash blade and you're gonna have to hang on i've actually let people open this and i told them to hang on to it and they still dropped it watch this yeah son it kicks like a flipping mule pm mcneese look at the stonewash on that hollow grind it's got some jimping up here, so it's comfortable. It's real thick, uh, thicker than my other McNeese. I dig the pocket clip. A lot of people I heard don't like it. Uh, you know, I've watched videos on people uh, with this knife and they don't like the clip. I really like the clip. It's not a deep carry, but it does exactly what it's supposed to do. And um, I've had no problems with it. I even kind of like the lines of it and the way it looks pretty thick but i dig this i can just sit there and do that all ding dang day yeah that's ah, ninja stuff love me a mcnees got this one at a smoking deal i couldn't just not buy it i was looking for a mcnees and they cost so daggum much i couldn't find one that i could afford and i was like uh, I seen this one and I'm like, ooh, I can't afford that one. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger. And then the next day I found another one. But uh, the manual version, I couldn't believe it. It might not have been the next day, but it was a couple, maybe a couple days. It could have been the next day. Very soon after I bought this one, I found another. Check it. That's a good looking knife. McNeese knows what they're doing, man. Awesome. Awesome. Next, my bench made Osborne 940. This one has S30V still. And you can see the wear on it. I've been carrying this one quite a bit. Got a lot of wear on the pocket clip. It's got some dings here, here, here. It's got a ding there. Um, right there at the back of it's got some scratches. To me, that's like a badge of honor. Look at all this dinging and wearing. See the corners are kind of wearing a little bit. This one is solid. No blade play at all. It's drop shutty. Did you see that? Drop shutty. Insane action on this one. Super sharp. I'm talking about she is Dicky, and a lot of people hate on this knife too and i don't know why what a great pocket knife to me it's like a legend in pocket knife the lore around this and uh you know just the reputation it has for a worker i dig it you can use this in as like a rue river or whatever i mean it's light it's uh, easy to open and close. Ooh, soon I can close it when I say that. Uh, doesn't take up too much real estate in your pocket. And I don't know how many of these bad boys have been sold, but probably if you're a knife guy, you probably held one of these, wanted one of these, or uh, have one of these. Great knife. One of the best bench maids made in my opinion. I need a drink. Hold on one second. 
Daggum, all that talking gets to you. This one right here is my, oops, sorry, stuff flying out of it. Hogue Decca. Look at it. At one time, this was my most carried pocket knife. And the reason it's not now is because uh, the, it's not a, uh, oh, that little pin in there, it's not an Omega spring. I don't know what kind of spring it's called. What do y'all know? It's uh, messed up in there. So it doesn't do the stuff it's supposed to do. I need to fix that. need to figure out where to get one of those things so I could take this apart and fix it because I really like this knife. Love the Warncliffe shape. I've done a whole video on this. Y'all can go back and watch. But um, I honestly think this is a better knife than the bug out. And uh, it's crazy I'm saying that because bug out used to be my grail. And I thought nobody would ever change my mind on the bug out. But my mind has changed. I really dig this knife. Super light. I like the color on the scales. This one Erica gave me the same time she gave me that one. Because I think the only knife I had was a bug out. As far as, uh, what do you call it? Modern folders. And she just wanted me to try them. So she just sent them my way. She said it was sitting under her sink. Which <laughs> kind of tickles me. Sometimes I, I jack with her about that. Which I'm sure her knives are not sitting under her sink anymore. But cool knife man i recommend this knife this one has two different blade shapes i like the one cliff better it's a compound grind i don't know if you can see that right there but this is straight and then uh it's a little thicker right there and then it kind of thins out right there awesome utility cutter dig this one we move this. We know what's going on around here. We can move it. Next. PM2. What a knife, man. Look at the patina on that. Ridiculous patina. This one is the Maximate version. It came with gray scales. Uh, Rip Scratch Tech sent me these uh, decal stickers. Skins, I guess you'd call them. I've done a video on that as well. But it looks cool. I don't think it looks very good with the gray, which I made a probably a, a bad choice on that. But I still dig it. I may end up getting me some different scales. Because I have another set of these. The action on this is insane. You can spotty flick. You can do all kind of flickety flicks. Uh, you can do whatever you want to do. With this bad boy ninja stuff everybody knows about the pm2 and um it's a beast when i really want to get some work done and i really know i'm going to be cutting a lot of stuff i don't hesitate putting this in my pocket awesome knife awesome knife glad to own that one next bench made bug out this one i might have told the story before but uh, I actually uh, was on Benchmade's website and looking at their custom shop and, you know, just dreaming and putting together some bug outs and uh, putting the edges I wanted on it, putting the, the scales, everything I wanted, the steel. Never intended to buy it at all. Um, matter of fact, you couldn't have talked me into buying it because I thought it was just way too much. Uh, and I was just dreaming. I showed my wife. I was on my laptop. <clears throat> and uh, she uh, said, oh, yeah, that's cool. Right? I have my name on it and everything. Just how you see here. I went to the restroom. I came back. And I looked at my computer. And the cart was saying that it was purchased. And I freaked the heck out. I was like, Carly, get over here. Look, look. I didn't do this. I promise you. She's like, oh. Happy birthday. I bought that for you. So I was like, okay, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, she bought it for me. It, it came with a gray G10. But I ended up changing that out. Because I took it apart and I, I got a screw stuck in 
one of these, I don't know, and I couldn't never get it out. So it gave me an excuse to buy some scales. I got these at Rip's Garage Tech. It's just a green micarta. And it's got a lot of patina on it, which is what I was going after because nothing on that knife patinas. I've used this in quite a bit. Um, I did have a problem with blade play on it. I took the blade play out and now it's not as uh, drop shutty, but it still does what it's supposed to do. Most of the time. See, you got to practice at manipulating it. But I still dig this knife. Still carry this knife. Love it. It's got my name on it, obviously. And then it's got X238 and a cross. That's my favorite verse. Y'all look that up. Sweet knife, man. Uh, what else? This one right here is my Jack Wolf Gunslinger. Ooh, baby. This was one of my grills. I wanted this one when it first came out. Couldn't afford one. Um, couldn't ever get one. Couldn't even get one on the secondary. And it just, you know, um, came out when I got my um, yearly bonus at work. Uh, this one came out. And I'm like, I'm getting that, I'm getting that, I'm getting that. So when it came out, I was scared I wasn't going to be able to get snag one, but I did. This is the one I got. I really dig this one. I believe this is Ironwood. And um, she has S90V still, right? Look at that blade. What a beast of a blade. It has the stainless backspacer. Or is that titanium? Could be tie. I don't know. And then the uh, clip. It just all ties together. This looks a lot more traditional to me than any other modern knife I've seen. It deploys in so many daggone ways. She's got the bolsters with the tie. Um, you can slow roll it. You can, um, you know, do the thumb flick. You can do that type thing. You can reverse flick it. All kind of stuff. You can do this thing. It's drop shutty as well. Love the action on it. Centering, perfect. This thing's a beast. Love it. One of my favorite knives. And then I found this one for super cheap and I could not buy it. So I bought it just to modify it. I haven't modified it yet, but this one is going to my buddy Randy Johnson. He's going to do something crazy to it just to have something super different. This one's a lot more solid than that one, I would say. Um, you know, I'm not all about the blue on there, but it looks good. I love the knurling beast. This one is sweet too, but I can't wait to get this one done and see what he's gonna do to it. I'm gonna send it to him here in probably a week or so. And uh, this one is a Couture, something or other, what the thing, Venter Couture, Venter Couture. I think that's how you said. I could be saying it all wrong. I seen Neves Knives do a uh, what do you call it? A review on this, and he he said how much it was. I think it was like forty something bucks, and it's a liner lock. See, liner lock. Um, you can open it with the hole right there. Super drop shutty. Check this out. Watch, watch, watch. Hold on. I'm, I got my fingers in the wrong place. It drop shuts. But what's crazy about this one is it's also a button lock. Check it out. It, it's free flowing. Uh, you can reverse flick it. It's pretty fidgety. I ain't gonna lie. Probably my most fidgety knife. But that button lock right there is tied in. It pushes this liner lock see I've never seen that before thought it was cool this is kind of craziness to me they is that a lanyard hole I don't is that a finger hole I don't know what it is cool little knife though only thing about this one is it doesn't have a pocket clip like what were y'all thinking I don't know what they were thinking but anyways it's a pretty cool little knife to mess around with I like to uh you know sometimes at night uh, after I take a shower and stuff and I'm in my shorts or whatever I'll uh 
just have this laying in my shorts and uh, fidget with it till my wife uh, freaks out. And then, what's next? Hmm. This one was a gift from my, my buddy Jesse. This is a ZT flipper. What a beast. Look at this freaking thing. Good Lord. She's the micarta flavor of the 0562. You see it right there. 0562 MIC. Hinder design. USA Magna Cut. And buddy, this Magna Cut don't play around. I like it. I like it. And it stays sharp, dude. I have, Wow. I beat on this thing. And like... Uh, me and my son played with it and beat on it and it just does whatever you want it to do and i need to oil it maybe i don't know but this thumb stud right here is not really a thumb stud and i keep forgetting like you just seen me try to uh flick it you're not gonna but if you pull that and push that at the same time it comes out a little faster It used to close super smooth. I just need to clean it. She centered on up. Love the micarta on this. This is probably the best micarta I've ever seen. I'm not even kidding you. Look at that. That is sticking gorgeous. Love the ergos on this too. I usually like to get up on the blade. So I don't like flippers, but I like this flipper. Pretty cool knife. I dig it. This one was given to me by TRM. Ooh, she came with orange uh, scales, orange and black zebra scales, I believe it's called G10. This one is slicey, super slicey. Um, I really did love it when I first got it. Now it's kind of bothering me because the lock stick and it grinds and i've tried everything in the world to fix it i put sandpaper between there and just gently kind of uh rubbed it i've oiled it i've cleaned it i've done everything but listen it's just grindy hear that and sometimes it's hard to shut uh, i see other people like their blade drops <clears throat> This one's not going to. The action on it's not very great. But the knife all together, I love the Ergos. No hot spots. It's super thin, super light. Kind of reminds me of the bug out lightness. This one has a 20 CV. You got some oil on the blade there. 20 CV made in the usa america erica gave me these blue scales because she knew i hated the other ones there she is so let's go right here with that next is the benchmade mini grip this one was my son's he bought it on his 16th birthday it was pretty much his first knife um he ended up getting you know he lost this after about a year he lost it somewhere in his house and he found it in his mom's room i guess and uh when he got it he already bought another bench made when he bought that bench made he doesn't want anything else he's not going to carry anything else he loves that knife so he said here dad take this because i ain't never going to use it so here it is with me it's pretty small for me to be honest with you if if it doesn't go to my past my pinky finger it's kind of small for a modern folder for me cool knife though i have carried it and use it i like to use it at work super sharp very very good action very good action cool knife 
And I'm going to keep that because, you know, obviously it's my son's first knife. All right. Now we got the arcade. Flatanium arcade. I've been wanting one of these. Actually, I wanted the uh, the shark lock on the uh, AD 20.5. And I've been back and forth. Which one am I going to get? Which one am I going to get? This one or that one? Because I like the shark lock, right? And Duty sent me one of his um, Demco's. And I really digged it. I liked it a lot. But when I seen this, it was like a hundred, is right at a hundred dollars, something like that. I'm like, dude, I gotta get that. So, secondary market, snagged it on up. She's got the G10 insert, purple thumb stud. They make these. If you don't know about these, Flatanium makes scales and pocket clips and all kind of stuff like that. Thumb studs, just aftermarket parts for uh, modern pocket knives and this was this might have been their first knife i don't know but it uh it's pretty cool kind of reminds me of the bug out a little bit a little more hefty um it's got that silhouette but it's a lot more stable it's a lot more solid a little more hefty than the bug out um the shark lock is just fun it's super fun uh super durable and they make all kind of uh aftermarket parts for this where you could change this out you could change out the thumb studs the screws get back spacers clips all that stuff so i'm going to actually make a video i'm going to buy some stuff and i'm going to make a video of me taking this apart and just kind of pimping it out you know what i'm saying i kind of like it the way it is my wife really likes this knife she likes the purple on it but it's going to change. Pretty cool knife. I dig it. I got three more. This one right here is the Chavez Street. What a freaking knife, man. I love the looks of this thing. There's a dog freaking out over there. I don't know what's going on. He's upset. Uh, Centering. Look at that. This thing is solid. And, um... This one, kind of like the McNeese 3.5, you're not going to slow roll it. It's got a detent to where when you push it, it's flying out. It's not assisted, but that thing just flies out. Look at the blade shape on that. Whoa, the grind on it. This is the Tonto version. Not a real Tonto. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess it does have two separate edges, but... You could easily sharpen that to where it's not a Tonto. I'm not going to. I like this. I love the blade on this. It's pretty overbuilt. Which I don't have a lot of overbuilt knives. But I like them. I mean, there's a place for slicey slicey. And thin. And I love that stuff. But I also like this too. Sorry about the wind, y'all. The clip is kind of controversial. A lot of people don't like the clip. Good. It's a hurricane. What's going on? I better hurry. I don't know. That school clip, people don't really dig. I really don't like it either. I'm going to get go ahead and get me another one. Uh, just a normal clip. Because the I would actually probably not care too much about it. But those screws, they put the screws in the school and it just looks weird to me. But uh, other than that, this knife, I love carrying it. I love, it's all titanium. Super, super sharp. Super thin behind the edge, despite, you know, how thick it is up here. It's got a hollow grind on both sides. That one may be flat. That's flat, that's hollow. Cool grind, cool switch. Very smooth, very, very, very smooth. Cool knife. I got this in a dang good price. Got two more. Small Sabenza. This is the uh, 31. And this one has great action. I had a large one before. Y'all may remember that. And I got this one at a crazy price too. Um, 
and I was kind of scared that it was going to be like the other one where it like uh, tore my thumb up with that thumb stud. It doesn't. Uh, I love the action on this one. Watch. It actually, if I could do it, uh, it drops. See that? Now, from what I hear, it's kind of hard to get it, get them to drop like that. So I'm tickled to death with this one. And it's solid. Ain't going nowhere, son. My car to inserts. I dig that. I still got to take it apart and take this lanyard filler out. Because it doesn't have the lanyard on it. Because it does the clickety-clackety-clickety thing. Um, another thing that I don't like about it is this pocket clip does this. And it sticks in there. Look how far that over travel is so i mean i gotta be easy on it whenever um i'm bearing down on it because that clip will just go right inside there no problem but i love the steel on it this is s45 vn um it's the higher hardness it's very good steel. I know that because I've been using it a lot. And it stays sharp. When I do strop it up, it's uh, insane. Right back to insane. I really like this knife. It's pretty small. Um, kind of uh, same ballpark as this bad boy. But... Um, I really like this one. This is going to stick around. I'm probably not going to end up selling this one because this one is actually a dang good example. Dang good example. And my last one, probably my favorite one, is this McNeese 3.5 PM2 Mac 2. This is the Atomic uh, Scales. Titanium, all titanium, all uh, stone wash, acid wash. USA this one is a beast and just like that chav is there's no snow snow rolling you can't snow roll it you can't slow roll it it's gonna just pop right out not assisted again it's just the detent on it they make them that way but would you look how gorgeous that is this has to be my favorite matter of fact it's easily my favorite the uh, k390 delica is probably second among all of these but this one right here this is a hollow grind super thin behind the edge and gets crazy crazy sticky sharp this is magna cut it says it somewhere yeah right there magna cut it's got a little oil and stuff and things on the blade you can tell where i've been using it see right there it's got a lot of marks and scratches and but that stone wash hides it very well how beautiful is that love the grind on that love the swedge it's thick enough to do whatever you want the ergos are insane they're very good i'd say out of all my knives this is probably second ergos to that uh spider co over there drop shutty the action watch it's just just drops so freaking sweet buttery smooth there's nothing not to like about this at first i was kind of scared because i thought i was going to tear my thumb up and it started to but i just didn't know how to do it i was just doing this but really what you got to do is just go at that angle not straight up but that angle right there see if you go straight up it just kind of but if you go out she's ready to go baby and it doesn't really hurt my thumb like it was when i first got it it's kind of broke in it just drops super insane action love it pride and joy of my whole collection uh i was a uh, super tickled to get this one at the price i did i shouldn't have a lot of these knives but I shouldn't have this one, but I'm tickled to have it. I got it at a dang good price. I couldn't pass it up. And if you look at the aftermarket prices of these, these bad boys are going up upwards of like 750, stuff like that. Sometimes more, depending on 
the uh, configuration. This is probably one of the more sought after configurations I would think. Tickled to have it. Anywho, there's all my modern knives. So, shoot down in the comments, which one do you like best? Uh, I like them all. Like, I like every one of them. Uh, I can't even believe I have this many. I started out this YouTube channel and I probably only had the bug out. And I've been on YouTube for a little over a year, maybe a year and a month or two. So, uh, wow, what a collection. I'm, uh, I'm tickled with these. Um, you know, I don't mind getting more of them. Uh, I probably won't get too many more. But I want to be a whole lot more choosy and selective of what I get. Um, I've went through a lot of knives and trading and things like that and selling and but I think I'm pretty happy where I am right now uh, there's not one out there that I'm like oh my god I gotta have that so I mean there probably will be if you're a knife guy you know exactly what I'm talking about but here's my collection hey if you liked the video hit that thumbs up button also the little red button down there says subscribe hit that what you waiting on I don't know just do it push it you're here you don't watch 36 minutes and 20 seconds of this thing go ahead and hit subscribe and uh don't forget to tell your friends your family your crush your mom and them and your barber about richard knives is richard out